You are now tuned in with the Fuller Fanatic. And I have a very special piece to share today. This knife is totally different than the maker usually offers. After growing a buzz, then catching fire amongst EDC enthusiasts, Riot teamed up with the world-renowned maker, Mr. Jerry Moen, and did a production run, basically a one-to-one -one production model. So let's jump right in and take a look at the full custom mongoose by Jerry Moen. Similar to customs of today in some ways, one being with high quality production lines. This custom is set apart from its production counterpart by first, its eye-catching analyzation done by Jerry to this 3D CNC milled precision contoured honeycomb titanium handle. With the mill lines being a bit darker than the protruding tie, giving even more depth and contrast to this beautiful design. For me, the handle alone is honestly a work of art, yet highly functional, comfortable, and lightweight. The handle comes in at 4 and 375 thousandths of an inch in length and 53 hundredths of an inch in thickness. Two sections along the spine side of the handle have jimping that provide extra purchase when squeezing down or planting your thumb but it's very subtle and really non-apparent when just handling the bill. And the first section is directly behind the flipper tab milled into the frame, which to be correct and true to Jerry's design, the jimping actually starts on the flipper tab and continues on in this area. This is a very clean and uniform look in my opinion. And the jimping appears again on the 3D mill slightly raised titanium spacer. Adding to the list of how the customs vary, the anodized and bead blast spacer has also been accented with frame highlights within the depths of the mill. The 3D mill pocket clip has been skeletonized and contains a ceramic insert at the end to easily transition over thick or thin fabrics. And again, the color added to the clip by Jerry plays right into the overall theme of this knife, as does its shape and design. And by that, I mean design details such as the blind screw mount. That to me, definitely screams Jerry going that extra mile to ensure the build's clean and uninterrupted appearance. Which brings me to the locking system, and that is a tab locking system. And unlike any other lock I've been privy to, it's pretty much effortless. The tab's jimping has grip, but won't bite into the skin. And it sits proud of the frame, so there is no need for the show side frame to drop down in the lock area, which keeps the body lines extremely symmetric. The Moen Mongoose pivot has also been anodized, which appear to have a mirror polish prior to the anno job. Playing off the handle, which has been polished, be blasted, then anodized to achieve this light golden tone that has a diamond-like shimmer in the finish. And the flipper tab definitely has a different texture than the other jimp sections. It's not obtrusive or rough, but grippy. And with it being not so tall, I believe the grippy jimping is preferred. Coupled with the awesome detent, the blade comes whipping out with authority. As I said before, that tab's position makes disengagement so easy. It becomes part of the fidget factor, really. Coupled with the length of the handle, the tab's angle and grip allows me to use the middle of my index finger, which I oftentimes prefer to deploy with some knives, but it's not always an option. So that's the deployment method number one. And I'll get to number two in just one second. But first, I must speak to the action. And I will have to start by saying I'm ultra biased towards Riot. Their fit and finish, along with their unprecedented action. Owning quite a few Riot productions, and also handling the customs along with the Riot model in majority of these cases, this is the very first time I can without a doubt say the complete opposite in the fact that I prefer the custom Moen Mongoose's action to that of the Riots. And by no means is this to infer Riot's action to be shabby or less than any other quality they have previously produced. It's just my personal preference in this one case which I can further elaborate. Contrary to other reviews, beliefs, and statements, the Mongoose is definitely drop shut. Well, at least with this custom. Utilizing a IKBS, which is loose bearings, plays a big role. And trust me, the pivot is tightened down and the blade is spot on centered. Whether it's Jerry's tune on this particular Mongoose, that I don't know. And call it luck of the draw if you want. Either way, it's what I prefer. And although the blade isn't heavy enough to drop clear beyond the detent, its frictionless state and majority of the travel is good enough for my liking. And while some would say that's why production is preferred due to consistency, to that I would say you could request a stronger or lighter tune in a maker's custom, whereas the tune in the production is just that. It can't be adjusted custom for you unless it's by you. This being the largest difference in my opinion. And this sets them apart more than any aesthetic opinion of the builds. 
and the only real apparent difference between the production model and the custom, Riyadh has done away with the lanyard hole. The blade is a Warren Cliff style harpoon recurve that sports a hollow grind and is comprised of RWL 34 stainless steel. The mongoose comes in with a 3 and 625 thousandths of an inch blade length and with a cutting edge of 3 and a half inches. This brings me to the finish and geometry. This breathtaking beauty of a finish, again, is the fine artistic work of Mr. Moen. Depending on lighting and the angle it's being viewed from, the finish can be mistaken for various others. But it's a custom by Jerry, coupling his unmatched full mirror finish polish, followed by a bead blast. I can assure you this blade and the sunlight shines and glimmers like a handful of white diamonds, or a very, very fine metallic flake paint job. And there is the hand rub flats that extend out from the frame along the spine's edge where they peak then abruptly taper down below the swedge meeting the flats edge line above the bevel. The blade spine has a flat that's great for an index or thumb placement ending in a smooth and chamfered area that raises up into a point and continues along the swedge referred to as the harpoon. The Riots production sports Riots beautiful belt ground satin finish also with hand rub flats. But it's the blade shape that allows for the second means of deployment. And this is due to the bevel from the hollow grind merging above the frame with the swedge line creating the perfect area between the blade and frame's wall, allowing me to build up enough force behind the detent to flick the blade. The first time I've seen this pulled off and shared on camera. And for me, being fidget factor crazy, this just added so much more to the build. And it's a super satisfying flick from feel to lock up and the thwack that is emitted from the flick. Not to mention, it's a consistent and reliable means of deployment. And it's not a fluke, but can be done over and over on both tunes, the custom and the Riot production. Which is always, Riot satin finishes are fingerprint magnets. But I wouldn't be doing this on a custom mowing mirror finish. Not a chance in hell. Now in my personal opinion, as far as achieving the highest quality and aesthetic difference between the two, is Jerry Moen's second to none mirror polish. This is something serious right here, people. And don't be fooled by the reflection of my black camera. When the light hits this polish, it runs off it like pure water. And I'm not exaggerating. I could stare at this finish for hours on end. This is offered on the folder, but offered in the same specs and overall size as the folder, Jerry offers a custom 8 inch carbon fiber fixed blade variant coming with a nice thick genuine leather sheath and belt loop attachment. The body sports the same honeycomb shape pattern that honestly looks amazing in all materials shown and color schemes. And until as of late, I didn't pay much of any attention to any fixed blade. And I've never wanted a fixed blade until I put my paws on this little guy right here. This has to be the most stunningly sharp knife I've ever seen up close in person. It comes with a sturdy and protective yet stylish sheath with a clip attachment. The perfect little fixed blade for that special occasion. This is the Mini Mongoose by Jerry. With a 2 and 56 hundredths of an inch blade length and a cutting edge of 2 and 37 thousandths of an inch. The RWL 34 steel blade has a thickness of 101 thousandths of an inch. The classy hidden tang style highly polished and anodized titanium handles are also sporting the 3D CNC milled honeycomb pattern which is accompanied by that extremely high mirror polish that definitely sets the Mini Mongoose's design and execution standards just as high as its larger counterparts. And anyone looking can see all the intricate details and many man hours put into producing a piece with all this handwork. And this has been my overall take on the Moen Mongoose, as well as a quick glimpse of the fixed blade Mongoose, which the blade bar has these along with many other custom Moen models to select from. So stop by the store location in North Texas or shop online at thebladebar.com. And please rate, share, comment below with your thoughts on all the models. And as always, please subscribe. Signing off from the Fuller Fanatic.